We have always relied on natural resources for our basic needs. Food, water, shelter, clothes. We extract minerals, rocks, oil, and water, and process them to create products that are consumed and then discarded. This is known as the linear economy. It has provided many great things, including food stability and clean water. It enables us to make great advancements in science and technology. But it also creates lots of waste that pollutes our environment and affects our climate and the health of plants, animals, and our very own lives. If we don't make changes, we will eventually run out of these finite natural resources. Even renewable resources are being used at rates much faster than what it takes to replenish them. So how can we go from a throwaway economy to one where we minimize waste, prevent greenhouse gas emissions, and keep resources in the economy for as long as possible? With a circular economy, we must optimize every step of the process to make sure materials are more durable, reusable, and easily recyclable. We need to streamline processes so that they consume less energy, keep waste out of nature, reduce our reliance on finite resources, and allow renewable ones to replenish Solving this complex problem requires many people working together. It requires material scientists looking at new ways of making better materials that would stay longer in the economy. It requires biologists and chemists to measure and quantify the impacts on our environment. It requires economists to improve life cycle assessments and measure the impacts as changes are made. It requires these individuals, along with engineers and technologists, to rethink and improve our current systems, supply chains, and processes, and create new opportunities to reduce waste, energy consumption, and the extraction of natural resources. It requires a place like NIST. Our experts, along with individuals from academia, industry, and other metrology institutes around the world are working together to figure out how to move us away from a linear economy and into a more sustainable circular economy. We must act now to ensure a sustainable future for ourselves and generations to come. <laughs>